Just call me if you there for you, cause I can't for you. There's nothing else that I'd rather do. Just call me if you there for you, cause I can't for you. There's nothing else that I'd rather do. If you're looking up, turn up. When you need me, I'm here, girl, you see me. If you're looking up, turn up. When you need me, I'm here, girl, you see me. Say you. I'm riding out, can't stop thinking about last night. I pulled up, you came out in them damn sides. That ain't right, caught me off guard, but my game tight. Now I pulled up in that purple coupe, and them twin twos, show face lies. Yeah, yeah. Damn, looking like you had a list, bitch. Uh -huh. What kind of car you clipping? What kind of vodka we sipping? Let's go somewhere and get missed. Okay. Or say okay. here and get twisted. Don't really make me no difference. Just as long as I'm with you, yeah. Just call me, I'll be there for you, cause I care for you. There's nothing else that I'd rather do. Just call me and be there for you Cause I care for you There's nothing else that I'd rather do When you need me, I'm here Girl, you see me When you need me, I'm here Girl, you see me See me Baby In the time you need me I'll be there What's up, YouTubers? Hi, everyone. Yes. It is Happy Halloween. Pre yes. Wow. First off, we want to start by saying thank you to our subscribers. She want to thank y'all. I just want to say y'all been riding to the fullest. Everybody like, comment, and follow, and subscribe. Yes. I don't give a damn what you do. Subscribe and it's free. that bell. Yes. Now, we have a guest tonight. Back again. Hi. Back again. Hello. Your name again. Kim. My name is Kim. RJ's mom. RJ's mom. Okay. So, you guys got your shots ready? Do y'all got your smoke ready? You got your drinks ready? And I got my allergy ready. medicine right in this bag. Let I'm not going to take a shot tonight. Medical reasons. But she's gonna take it for me. So of course, reasons. come on, get them shots together, guys. <laughs> okay, girl, you ready? Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Alright. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just, just open your mouth and swallow. All Fuck. right. So tonight's episode is Ooh. is. I've been seeing a lot of body positive people, and Ooh. there's also a downside to that as well. And so this is called I Don't Like Me. And I'm pretty sure that women and all people can relate to this. So you guys want to um, want to just hop into questions or you guys want to just what? briefly You're talk so about it? You ready? I'm ready. Alright. Do you? You're anxious, sir. It's called. <laughs> she better uh, enunciate. I'm not sure you're to hear me this time. I swear on God. You have to put subtitles beneath this bitch. That's Freddy's child, y'all remember? Okay. So, do you think that the social media is corrupting young girls' self image and worth? Of course. Of course. And elaborate louder. Everybody no. wanna just throw shit. Maybe in my I wanna room. see what kind of weed I have. Do you wanna see what kind no, of weed? No, we don't. Have? Nope. I don't, I don't, honey, I don't prostitute on this live. Uh, Keep going. I gotta arrange some words. Damn. And I was the anxious one. Mm-hmm. You were the anxious one. Yeah, to what get into you? it. Okay, so um. Well, then why are you trying to rearrange your words? I think social media is, I believe, is corrupting young girls. 
You know what I'm saying? Because they turn on the TV and be like, oh, I don't look like that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, no one looks like that. Girl, be real with yourself and stop playing all this fucking mic. Can you listen to the light, please? Bitch. The vibes. Thanks. I have girls. And we sit and we talk. Mm -hmm. And they be like, I I don't look like, like baby is fine. Don't nobody really look like that in real life. But we had that growing up. Did we? We did. We yeah. had body imaging very on, it's, but it's more. Well, I mean, I, I did have an eating disorder when I was younger. Okay, so, so at our time, it was bulimia, um, yeah, anorexia, was, yeah. and looking like the thin girl, the model. Yeah, girl. I guess, yeah. Yeah, so now. It's just taking it to a. Another level. Another Even level. the girls that are blessed. You know, when we would children, you know, like, girl, she got a big old bosom and big old booty and all that. Mm -hmm. And so you be like, oh, I don't want her. I want the thin girl. And so that do a lot to us. It does. Grow. It fuck up your head a little bit. It does. So when you see today's world where it's susceptible to be looking like that girl over there. And at the end of the day, that girl over there is not looking like this girl over here. You got any? I think it's all because of generational shifts. Like, you guys have bulimia and everything, but imagine how it would have been if you had social media in right. your face 24-7. And then ads with pretty girls. Right. Um, right. Be like me. Drink this tea. You know, like yeah. shit like that. Yeah. We probably would have known that tea job, thing, honey. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Get this nose job with these cheeks lifted, honey, so you can have structure. But my natural, honey. I came up my mom put it like this, honey. <laughs> All natural, wow. All natural, and there's nothing wrong with being natural because at the end of the day, when you get older, them silicones drop. That ass that you got done, yeah, you gotta get got it wilder. like you gotta get it like yeah, retouched. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, okay, maybe this dude bought your body for you, but you ain't with this dude no more, and your body ain't there no more. And that dude that you with now ain't gonna. I like you how you are. Why don't? If, if you're already in a relationship, like, I love the way you look. Mm -hmm. I love all of it. And then, I mean, it is like self-image. It's like self-worth. Maybe, mm -hmm. like, I don't feel pretty. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can I get know. that. I don't feel pretty. I want this done, this done, and this done. But when you look in the mirror, do you see what's right? Or do you see what's not quite right? You do. What you can quant uh, contour on your body. Like, I'd be like, oh, girl, you know, um, I might want a little more voluptuous, you know. I might want to be your size, but a little smaller. Yeah, bigger. But then again. Bigger is not always better. Not right. Bad. And if, then again, a happy back be killing me. I'm just heavy saying. Ass heavy and, ass you know, I'm titties. like, we, you know, aka Trina, we would, you know, we the small booby girls, honey. But God bless us with hips and ass, and baby, your back be hurting. My lower back be hurting. <laughs> we talked all this ass, honey. I'm just saying. And you know, when you blast, honey, mine's is natural, honey. My grandmama had a big ass. My auntie had a big ass. My mama had a nice little smooth, like, it was nice. But. Slim thick ass? Yeah, slim thick. Slim thick. That's what they call it, right? Slim mm -hmm. thick. Slim thick, honey. You know, she was. My mother was like five foot, so just to have it oh, all that. Yeah, so she's short. She's fun size as they put today's world. Uh -huh. And you looking, and it's like, she got all this, you know, this body everything she was built like whoa you know when you look young like damn. okay but growing up in this time this day and age and uh -huh. if you have daughters i don't want my daughter to always be authentically her you're made the way god created you to be it's gonna be a man out there that's gonna enjoy you yeah there's there's someone for everyone Everybody. yeah but with social media though it it's hard. It, it makes it seem like there is no one for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so while we on the topic of social media, have y'all ever paid attention now when the BBLs and the big bodies and the nice girls, they have those? But you'll see like the most little rappers have a natural girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything. They yeah, have yeah. it like real natural. It's like... Like they're, their main chick? Yeah, they're gravitating towards back to natural. Because honestly, honey, you know, coming from a woman, honey, dealing with a a lot of men's and a lot of men's dealt with a lot of women because you know I'm a hoe. A hoe we, a hoe. we know. Okay. And I've had conversations with them like and they be like, oh they they be really feeling in all this. Right, but you stay right here. I thought you changed things because you got oh. sad. 
Because I got all sad. Oh, God. Anywho, back to the movement. Yeah. I feel like the natural, um, the whole natural body, body positivity shit, is, it's like a bullshit cover. It's dead? It's not dead, um, but definitely a bullshit cover. Because guys... It's they be like, wanting Well, they do want, because literally a guy, if put in a specific situation, he'd fuck anything. He fuck a vacuum. He fuck an orange. I read I read a story where the veterinarian was fucking puppies. Fucking puppies. Ew. Okay? So it's like, oh yeah, I constantly want this. My version of a tin, which is that ingrained, you know, slim, fat ass, some big titties, um, and cute in the face. Intellectual body. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, but now that it's like, oh, we can like natural girls now. They'll choose them, but they won't stay with them. Mm, or be seen in public. Yeah. With that's them. deep. That's deep. That's deep right there. Because that is honestly true. When they have a natural one, they don't want to be seen in public with that because yeah. you don't meet the expectation of what's out there. Yeah. But look at it. Would you rather have me as aging or would you have that that's financing mm -hmm. aging? Mm -hmm. That's like a long term house nut right there. That's the term. 30-year fix. Yes, that's the 30-year fixed mortgage plan, honey. Thank you. <laughs> well, and, uh, so I I have to look at it like that, like, bitch. For me, I'm happy to be natural. I mean, don't get me wrong. Now, I'm not right. against plastic surgery. I'm not. <laughs> at all. We're I, not bashing that. I am not whatever. against it. I'm not against it whatsoever, honey. <laughs> I, you know, I, to be honest with y'all, I would have got some work done to my body. Like, just a little enhancements here and there. But I'm looking but like... But do you, do you think about the, the downside? Do you think about what could happen because... The health complications? Yes. Yes, I do. Because you can die on the table. Yeah, you can. Donda, uh, Donda was. Mm. She died. She died. It, that was like the beginning. Now it's got more, but people still are dying. Because mm. at the end of the day, everybody wants to have this body. This bam bam, these titties and looking right. Everybody's going to look like right. each other. Yes, I yeah. don't want to look like that. <laughs> don't get me wrong. And, and, you know, we always see the little memes, hip, ass, leg ratio. You'll know when you see a, 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 a thoroughbred hooker woman. You, you, when you see that bad bitch right there, that's thoroughbred, because everything is coordinated correctly. Now, even though you got some good doctors who are smooth the ass look like at the you. Thighs, the thighs right. look like the But you know, I've had one guy, honey, he was actually um, in the process of, I did want to do this fast, but, uh, but <coughs> he used to feel. He was like, I said, what are you doing? Yeah. He, he would feel, he's like, no, I need to see if it's real. Mm -hmm. He said, I could tell when work is not right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, damn, how many bitches you just gonna mess with the heavy BBLs, honey? Yeah. So he was feeling and poking. I was like, hey, that's hurting. He was like, oh, it's hurting? Yeah, bitch, this is all natural. What the fuck wrong with you? Yeah. No. I don't know. I'm just saying, what about the mental, the mental and the physical long term effects that, that have on your body? You know what I'm saying? PBO? Yeah. Well, like, especially if you've been doing it for a long time, like into your death. Like, it's like into Wendy, Wendy into Williams. Like, she was once like just attractive, and now she has Girl, these like circles else, on I, her that's face. That's not attractive to me. I'm not. I'm, I'm not attractive to everyone, and some of us are peculiar. I could be in the title peculiar too. I'm not gonna knock me for that for some people, because you know people just people like what they like. But I agree with you on Wendy Williams with her blue job, everything. And I mean, just the face, like just a profile shot of this chick. Did you say it? She looks crazy. Well, you know, I mean, if you don't get those fillers, those injections, and it, it, it looks sad. Yeah. Well, I mean, come on, you what? Okay. Since we're talking about that, just for example of her, mm -hmm. when you have history of abuse, you know, constantly doing other extracurriculars and everything, that deteriorates your body as well. Mm -hmm. See, people don't realize when you get these BBLs, you have to be healthy and stay healthy. Yeah. 
You yeah. Do. Everybody think you're supposed to get this bam, bam, bam body. Also, a lot of us don't talk That's about like a gastric. You get the gastric and you think you're going to eat how you ate before you got it. Mm -hmm. And then like, oh shit. You know what I'm and saying? And then years later, you're fucking up your body more by doing extra things to please. I don't like me. Yeah. I don't yeah, like Yeah, I mean, me. it's different if, you, okay. If you're doing it for yourself, by all means, we will do you. If you have the funds. It's and nothing wrong with that. Do you. But if you're doing it to satisfy someone else's image that you should be. Yeah. Uh, no. But if I get any work done, it's done because of me. Mm -hmm. Not well, because you know I'm that. trying to please anybody. Subconsciously, though, because that stays with you. It you, does. You hit <coughs> me as a chick with small titties, right? Those, like, oh, you know. Yeah, but, but you're you doing it for yourself, it though. But most Those times, like subconscious level, it turns it into not even being about yourself. It's hmm. still about someone else. Correct. No you are what. right. Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah. You make a point. You make a point. Because mm -hmm. imagine growing up without hearing anything about your itty bitty titties. You just grow up loving your titties because that's what you have. Right. And no one said it and they saw you beautiful. But so here you come in the world. Yeah. Feel like, oh, this is my soul. And then you can go and make the decision. Oh. Do I want bigger titties? Do I not? I don't know. Them? Bigger titties are not everything. Trust me. Because the first surgery I will be having is a reduction. I'm just saying. See, that's the re... Okay, I agree with you on that. Now, same far as the hint is if you have the money, you put the money to the side. Say, this is the, my goal to achieve to mm -hmm. help my health of reducing back issues. Because the older mm -hmm. I get... I'm going to have these back issues that's going to turn into other health issues. Right. And see, that's where uh, I have, well, I have a, a platform of people, plethora, you know, people. A plethora. 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 And different arenas. And they say about this, is they don't understand the health complication that falls behind. And they also said to me, they don't place keynotes of family hereditary diseases. That might skip you or might you might encounter yourself. Mm -hmm. So you having that could bring up something that your body was fighting off mm -hmm. into later having issues. You see, I hey, no offense, Kate Michelle and everything. You see what she did, she had to go through the whole process and then mentally it's still fucking with her. Yeah. It's like, okay, I went down which she was perfectly fine and she aged gracefully. You look at like my man say, honey, my man's I look at your mama, I look at your auntie, I look at your sister, I look at your cousin that's on your mama or your daddy's side. That nigga looking at a lot of bitches. <laughs> he looking at a lot of bitches, <laughs> right. But you know what? And I'll be like, why are you looking at them? I'm seeing exactly for all this natural. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. a lot of women just say, oh, I ain't got no work done, but got work done. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's like, they're ashamed. But no one's ashamed to say, yes, I got a BBL. But any other work. It's, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't get that done. Or I didn't it's that. all natural. Alright, let's switch it to like family now. Since it's like the I don't like me. You have a daughter. Mm -hmm. As your daughter gets older, mm -hmm. what what are some key things that you would tell her as she, you know what I'm saying, comes within herself? Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. You okay. did. You did. Um, that is out. What the fuck I'm supposed to do? Light it back up? Yes, Shit, what the like fuck is this? I tell you. Jack the lamb? Well, first <laughs> off, I warn her of all the shit she's going to like, encounter. encounter as a female. And then I go and tell her to realize, like, all of that is bullshit. Because by the time you're my age, and I didn't realize soon enough, I'm just stuck with something I don't want because I could have been something great if I just believed in myself. Mm. So she has to do the same. Okay. All right. For me? For your future daughter. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. For my future daughter, love who you are. Mm. Love who you are. You came out of me, but you came out of your other mother because I can't have <laughs> Well, 
with mine, I, I made a habit every day to tell them that they're beautiful in some type of way. So when they do hear that, it's not like the first time that they're hearing it. Like, I, I make them realize their self-worth, their self-image. Every It's you. Now, it was cruel. People like, oh, that's so cruel. But my kids know that no one in this fucking world gives a fuck about them. It might be harsh, but it's fucking true. It's the truth. It, it really is the truth. All you have is you. Is you. Love so you. you have to love every... Like, granted, I wake up some mornings with the condition that I am. I'm bloated half the fucking time. Oh, That's something I like. Mean. Oh, my God. Really? Like, I won't even go out. Sometimes I won't even walk out the door. I'm like, damn, nothing fits. Like, what the fuck? Just put on a dress. I do. I do, but all my dresses are tight. Uh-huh. All of them are fucking tight. As they should be. That's what I'm saying. Course. So, when I have, have flare-ups... I can't just put on regular fucking clothes. <laughs> God damn, is she okay? I was fine. I saw it. Uh, anyway, that's like, that's a part, like, you have to know who you are inside. Now, yeah. any other day, I love me. But when I have flare-ups, you don't there's love you? part of me that I wish were not there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Cause I will literally just sit and look at myself in the mirror, and like, all right. I don't like me today. Yeah, like sometimes, like, damn, I don't, I don't even. Nope. And I don't even think it's just subconsciously. I'm not even looking at my image. I'm usually in my head. It's it's like I'm thinking this shit, not even really looking up how beautiful that I really am. In my mind, I'm like. Yeah, no, nah, we're not doing this today. You might as well get back in bed. <laughs> Let's take a nap. Let's leave this shit off. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like everybody has that moment. Like, like yeah, this is I'm not feeling it today. You know? I yeah, think you know. I was smoking here. Girl, you gonna let it out? Don't mash for me, please. It's it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure. You're very beautiful. You're you're a beautiful young lady. I love her to death, but she's gorgeous. But I'm pretty sure you have those days when you're like ugly. I mean, you have you got a man. You got you got you know what I'm saying. It's not like you, but for yourself, it's like. Well, I seen you the other day. So it's not all. We're not gonna talk about. <laughs> no, she got me back though. What's she got me right? back though, cause the other day I wasn't myself, and she was like, "Click, but like, all right, bitch." I did though. All right, but I'm just saying you have those. Got busted, huh? <laughs> I caught her in 4K, in 4K HD, just like your camera. 4K. I was like, "Bitch, no." But tell us how you know what I'm saying, because I'm pretty sure that everybody just does it 100 percent all the time. I'm I'm the most positive person you could even ever meet, but I'm not a hundred percent one all the time. Are you? Do you think you're a hundred percent one? Um, when I was younger, I felt as if I was a hundred percent on, but I didn't view myself. I felt like my persona was a hundred percent on, but me myself, I wasn't good enough physically. Um. And then my tits were huge. Like, they're small now because <laughs> breastfeeding will do that to you. But I'm talking like it. Triple D. Um, so, Triple D. Yeah. Okay. Are you Triple D now? No. no. Oh, you want uh, to? Uh, like, I was like, no. I got blessed because the back pain. We are not talking about breasts, right? Well, we are, kind of. Uh, but you, I just, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about your boobs. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh we're not gonna do a whole segment. I'm done with my tits. Thank I you. Promise. You're not. You but know, have I'm, you? Do you feel 100 percent on all the time? Do I feel 100 percent yeah. on all the time? I do. I'm not gonna promise you. I do. Even through my ugliness, and I don't like me days. 
or I don't want to face the world. Then that's not 100% on then because yes, you I have am. those days. I do yeah. have those days, but I'm saying do I, I come out and embrace the world. Yeah, yeah. For what it is. Even with me, don't like me at the current moment, I'm going to steady go out in the world because I'm going to be my me. I'm going to be myself queen. I'm going to love me. Regardless if I don't like me at the current second, okay, self, you don't like me. I don't like what I'm looking at right now. What the fuck do I need to do the better for myself? That's what I do. Do you sometimes just walk outside and be like, I don't give a fuck? You know, she you got those I don't give a fuck days. I do though I have those that will give a fuck days. And you see it because you know yeah. I don't give a fuck. I, I know. You I look mean, like that. You, you guys know the cookie jar back in the old days, like 70s, 60s. Okay, so we yeah. That's That's exactly what she be looking like on I don't give a fuck day. What? I'm having me down. I'm like, I don't feel like wearing my hair. I don't feel like wearing my wig. I don't feel like really showing my real hair. So you gonna catch it up, do we drag up style? I don't give a fuck. I might have on some mismatch shit, look like I'm from the motherfucker. Please feed us, please y'all. People. I don't give a damn. 17 cents How a day. How long is your hair? My real hair? Yeah. It's long. How long? It's long. I genuinely want really to know. Everyone wants to know. I cut mine off. Really? Yeah, because I don't know how to do hair. That's too much. I just I cut it off you. like every three months. Dead no, I'm good. It's too much work. Real hair, natural <laughs> hair, yes, honey. Under the like cold process of wig wearing and all that, the, the, you the, will you might catch me outside without a wig on, but I'm gonna have a bonnet or a hat. Okay, so <laughs> therefore my hair scar shouldn't be. It's not. Nothing. I'm just saying. So my instrument looking character. Because that's how you look like. Every time I see you like that, I be wanting fucking pancakes. I, and I don't even eat pancakes. <laughs> that bitch be looking like Aunt Jemima. But it's okay though, cause she was cute with it. She still be cute with you it. Get a goal to be as Aunt cute Jemima. as possible oh. with it. Like yeah, Jemima, you not feeling like yeah. slaying it. Girl, it be slaying. It don't. Well, make it a goal. That's what. That's my She's point. making a goal, bitch. Make don't walk outside. <laughs> every female has that day guys it's so easy because even if they don't feel attracted they throw on a shirt some pants some shoes they do they're gonna yeah what they swear they think is yeah they do yeah i go out bummy i get bummy niggas hollering at me like i mean she look like a true street up um <laughs> holiday heart we could be playing the movie together fuck <laughs> you bitch yes. i love that movie mm -hmm. she Okay, but anyway, You're right. I mean, yeah, I, there's a lot of I don't like me days, and I'm pretty sure that people felt that shit during um, lockdown. I'm pretty sure because you know, mm -hmm. COVID time, you got you gotta just sit mm -hmm. home, eat, get mm -hmm. fat, but you know, and then oh, we can come outside. Right. And, and then looking like, like yeah. here to and then all the gyms other. were still closed, so you're like, bitch. <laughs> The fuck? Mm. Mm. Well, that's when goes to the movement of, well, I ain't got shit else to do. I really don't want to spend money. Oh, bitch, let me save and get me a BBL. So when I come outside, bitch, ow! New body, new count. Ow! Well, I'm going to get me a new body. I know. Mm -hmm. And whatever makes you happy. So you're happy. doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for, like, other people. No, I'm not doing it for other people, even though... Other people are going to, to always stay. They're they gonna always stay. That's not where I was going. Ooh, I lost that word. Are. It's fine. Continue. Oh, this bitch right here. I'm Obviously just because it was okay. So yeah. It was okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Like seriously. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys comment. Let us know if you have those. I don't like me days. And how do you? get through those days Basically. like how do, how would you like for me you i know i'm us. talking a lot right <laughs> like for me i would just get back in bed but i i get back in bed with a purpose <laughs> <laughs> like excuses no like right Thank i'm gonna get up but i'm gonna need some me time that's what i need let me let me write something. Let me read something. Mm -hmm. Let me watch Gilmore Girls. Mm -hmm. Something, and then I'm gonna get up feeling like, all right, let's let's try this shit again. And then, mm -hmm. 
I might still look bummy, but I feel good inside. You really need to like. You knew what we were talking about when we got in this. I'm going to need you to do better. Um, do you? <laughs> like. This was the same for the fucking guest. I do. Mm. Okay, I do. girl. Come, come back, girl. What's I'll, up? I think she gone. There we go. You all right? Enlighten me. Ooh, Jesus. We're enlighten cutting me. you off. No, you ain't even. Me, please. You're cut off. Enlighten Would you like some water? Maybe. You might need that. I might need that. Yeah. But yeah, guys, it's gonna be a short show tonight. Thank you. Um so keep yes, y'all always tune in to all our lives here. We're doing video and podcasting at the same damn time. It's been good and all Um, anyway, so, <clears throat> guys, thank you for watching us. Thank you for tuning in on our podcast. As well. Thank y'all. And y'all be safe out here on this Halloween night. And Halloween. don't get anything in that you can't handle. Happy Halloween, <laughs> guys. Y'all better be good to the witches tonight. Damn, so it stopped at 20, or uh, just, you don't know, because it powered off. What? Hmm? What? <laughs> On the camera. Mm -hmm. What was that, like, 15 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago? Hold on. Oh, let me take this off there. Let me start. It was what? Um, I'm intoxicated, are you? You are? That is not my problem. <laughs> right. I thought you loved me. Hey, beautiful. Convince, you convince mom to let me go to your wedding and then I'll love her. No. I'll hate you, I don't give a fuck. Her education is more important. What time, yeah, yeah, yeah. What time do you get off? What school? me is saying? 120. My first drink. Yeah, text message. She is drinking her so wine. Happen. We can make it happen. She is drinking her some. Is that? I want to see. Is it with her friends? Moscato. Is it with her friends? Yeah. Okay then, mama. Her friends Don't are not of age. Okay, what if she takes a sick day? I'm sick. I took a lot of sick days. Yeah. Did you want, are we filming tomorrow? Or do you want to do a second show Why right now? Why did you do this to me? I'm trying to make I wasn't, I didn't know that this was going to happen no, soon.